This court has restrained Professor Stephen Kiyama Givai from interfering with the management of the Nairobi University. Justice Moren Onyango urged the parties in the dispute to file their responses to various applications filed in the dispute to allow the matter to be heard on the 30th of January. Lawyer Evans Monari and Mahati Somane, who appeared for the CS Education and Attorney General, told the court they will be able to respond to the preliminary objection and have the matter disposed of in the interest of the learning of the university. Our reporter Shadrach Miti now joins us with more details. Shadrach, it is a stalemate that has stalled operations um, to an extent at the University of Nairobi. What more do we know so far? Well, uh, as we stand now, we can basically say things are not so good at the University of Nairobi. Uh, what is usually called the uh, ivory tower could just be uh, now be called the Tower of Babel. Reason being, there seems to be so much confusion, so much pulling apart and uh, extreme infighting at the university. It's now what you may call a fight of professors. Remember, uh, from where Professor Kiyama sits, he claims to be the rightful man to head the university, given that he was appointed by the university's council. And, uh, but now that was disputed by the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor George Magoha, who said the appointment of uh, Professor Kiyama was, um, did not uh, happen in a more clear way. And so he went ahead to revoke his appointment and uh, immediately uh, followed up his action by requesting the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to launch investigations into what may have happened. Uh, remember, the interviews were carried out by the Public Service Commission. And even though the chairman of this Public Service Commission, uh, uh, Mr. Stephen Kirogo, has defended his commission insisting that they did everything as by the law and everything that they uh, did was all procedural. And the outcome of that interview was what they really captured. The, from where the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor George Magoa, sits, he says the process was not clear. And so he wants the, uh, uh, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to look into that with a view to informing what the next action will be. But remember, it is a position that uh, has put the uh, the, he has split the University of uh, Nairobi uh, down the middle with a section of the professors there seeming to lean towards Professor Kiyama and the other group of people and even uh, students uh, leaning towards uh, Professor Isaac Mbeche, who up to now we know is the person who was appointed by Professor Magoha to be uh, to act uh, as the acting vice chancellor. But remember, the past few days we've been witnessing a lot of things happening at the University of Nairobi. Remember, Professor Kiyama has tried all he can to try and establish and to stamp his authority uh, on the university. Yesterday he was trying, to, he was addressing uh, the newcomers. That is the first year can students who had just joined the university and he has really been trying to ensure that uh, his presence is felt at the university even though we know previously he has had his office operating from a, uh, a particular uh, position but we know since uh, the 18th floor which is on the uh, 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 Nairobi University Tower, where the uh, offices of the Vice Chancellor are, have been locked up. We know that so far, Professor Kiyama is now decided to operate from 19th floor, which is a temporal um, uh, office. And we don't know how far this one will happen. But by now, the court coming in to decide that uh, he should be res uh, uh, restraining him to not to interfere with the process and the runnings of the uh, matters at the institution, it means uh, we're expecting that uh, Professor Kiyama may now put some breaks onto what he has been doing, at least to allow for the entire process of both the courts and the ESCC to finish before now uh, we, we, we get to know what the next action will be. Uh, back to you, Michelle. All right, many thanks, 